Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we're going to get you caught up on some things and show some off-camera footage. And then um, I think the plan uh, for the bulk of this episode is we're going to go out to, to the eastern sea base and uh, do some building. So this is going to be uh, a bit of a building episode. Catch up on a building episode. Uh, all right, so the first thing to know is that... Um, I've actually been quite sick the last couple of days with one of those so-called super colds. It's just really uh, laid me on my back. Both my wife and I have been super sick and my dad. Uh, my dad lives with us. So I haven't, uh, I've played some off camera, but not a lot just because I haven't felt felt up to it. And today's the first day I've, you know, felt good enough to actually sit down and record an episode. So uh, just, you know, letting you know that in case I start coughing or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, so for some off-camera footage, I uh, killed a Giga up at the volcano to get a Giga heart. Yeah, so I realized that uh, you can't you can't kill your own gigas to get hearts. It has to be a wild giga. So, so we did that. We'll have to kill another one, of course, to get the second heart because it takes two hearts to do the alpha dragon. And then I got the thylode um, by a 150 thylo. I didn't capture the actual pounce itself, but I did capture myself uh, grabbing the thylo and taming it up. And unfortunately, that Thylo's stats uh, didn't turn out to be any better than the 150 Thylo that we had tamed um, several episodes ago. Uh, but we tamed it, and it's sitting up there in the barn right at the moment. Uh, let's see. I also did two more ice cave runs um, off camera. Um, and uh, what I did was I took a, a squad of eight berries instead of 12, and I used whistle commands, the move two and the attack command in particular, uh, and it worked much better. So I was able to move to the cave more quickly, uh, you know, than the first attempt. Of course, the first attempt, I was being overly cautious anyways. Um, and the reason I did that is because I, I found out that that cave is one of the best places to look for uh, the elusive Ascendant Therizina saddle and Uterana saddle. And I actually lucked out and found both of those things uh, running those caves. Can get quite expensive. Yeah. Then I started farming the farm there. So yeah, that was absolutely uh, just a really good stroke of luck. Now I had some bad luck in those caves too. Uh, I lost uh, a few berries, uh, mostly due well to two reasons. Uh, in a couple of cases, it's because the berries got separated um, and then just got, you know, ganked due to their, their really stupid pathing, uh, but also due to meshing. And, uh, the, uh, the, you know, this game, the meshing problem in this game is just absolutely terrible. Um, I lost a couple of dinos. I lost an otter. I lost my own life. Uh, and I lost a baryonyx that is still almost four kilometers down into hell 
and still alive, and I cannot retrieve it. I, I've actually ghosted down there, but what happens is when I get close to the to the dino, it moves away from me. It's unbelievable. It's almost like these bugs are intentional just to piss people off. Why would it move away from me? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, so it's just supremely frustrating. And um, so as a result, um, I actually spawned in a, a new otter to replace the one I lost due to the, due to the game bug, due to the meshing. I had no problem doing that because uh, the game owed it to me. Uh, and I just did a random, and I happened to get a, a higher level auto, but uh, otter, but you know whatever, I don't care. I'm so I was so pissed at that point, it didn't matter. Uh, I have no way to retrieve that dino. I have no way to kill it. Uh, I, I maybe yeah, I don't know. I, it's just stuck down there forever. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Um, and you know, Ark came out with a, a pretty sizable update this morning, but the two things they did not fix. Uh, are the meshing issue. We still have all kinds of meshing problems, and they didn't fix the 50-50 bug. And I just don't get it, you guys. The, those are two of the biggest issues with this game right now. Why don't they prioritize that? I don't know what else they fixed. They added some, you know, new radial menu features, but who gives a fuck about that? I don't give a shit about that. I want this bug that pulls my structures from my bases um, and brings all kinds of weird shit dinos right up above my base fixed, and I want the meshing issue fixed, and so does every other player of this game. It just does not make sense. Um, I watched last night. I watched Raz Clark do the tech cave, uh, and you guys, if you guys haven't seen his his uh, vod uh, doing that, you got to go watch it because it's it's it was just unbelievable. I could not believe. How many problems he had due to game bugs, due to meshing, and due to the cave not loading properly and him having to start all over again. And fortunately, you know, for him, he was on single player, so he was able to at least reload the game. You know, if someone would have been on, you know, like a server that they didn't have any control over and that kind of stuff happened, they would have been screwed. And it, it's such a – the reason it's such a big deal, if it isn't obvious, is because, you know, it just takes – an enormous amount of work and effort and time to prepare you know for that final fight in this game and for you to do all of that stuff get there get ready to go and then lose everything due to game bugs is just it, it's unacceptable you know wild card you need to be ashamed of yourself and snail games you need to be ashamed of yourself for that kind of shit with your game um it, that, that's just I don't know what else to say. I don't know else how else to say it. That's just the way that it is. So, anyways, I'll get off my soapbox now, guys. Uh, but I just had to get that off my chest. It's just so frustrating. And by the way, kudos to Roz Clark. He he handled uh, the situation way better than I would have. We'll put it that way. He, uh, you know, he was definitely frustrated, but uh, yeah, he did a good job of not completely blowing up like I probably would have. So, kudos to him. Anyway, all right, so let's see. Uh, some things to get you updated on here. I have, um, I now have a, a male fairy that has a double melee mutation, so Father M2. And uh, so I have, I'm now using him to mate with our base mothers. We have 24 base mothers. And his level is 243, so what we're looking for when the eggs hatch is a, is a baby that's 245. Um, and then, um, if you look, if we look at him, if, if you look at the binoculars here, <coughs> you can see that the melee is 39 plus four. Uh, so that means he's got two melee mutations. So if we get a, a baby with three melee mutations, then it'll be level 245. Now, if we see a baby that's 245, that doesn't guarantee it's a melee mutation. It could be something else, but at least it helps us sort through, you know, the bazillion other babies that, that are in the mess, you know, when we do that. Um, it took me a long time to get this this guy too, as what the game was doing was is that it was actually giving me female double mutations, and and that's not a bad thing though because what you can do is you can take the females and you can breed them with the base father, um, to try and get a male with the mutation, and that's exactly what I did. So I had about six or seven uh, double melee mutation females over here that I was breeding with. The base father until I finally got a male uh, that I could then swap back over to the main, you know, to the main breeding program. Uh, so yeah, that's going pretty good. Uh, we'll just keep breeding them until I decide, you know, we have enough melee mutations. I kind of have, 
Uh, I kind of have like, you know, maybe five uh, in my mind, which is 10 points in total before we switch over to to health, but we'll see. Uh, we want to get, when you know, we want our boss theories to be about 21,000 health because that's supposed to be the sweet spot uh, for the most effectiveness with veggie cakes. And then everything else we possible, uh, you know, that we can, we want to push into melee. So that's what we're, we're aiming for, for our ultimate, you know, alpha dragon boss fight. Okay. Uh, up here, I have, uh, I took one of my sabers up here and put it on aggressive so that it'll just automatically kill uh, any of the babies that the snails have because they just breed like crazy and it gets completely out of control. So he's up there doing that. Um, and I need to, I need to, to come up here and feed these guys. They're getting really low on food. Um, I thought about putting a trough down with veggie cakes, but I don't know if the other herbivores will eat the veggie cakes or not. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure about that. If you guys know the answer to that question, let me know. Uh, let's see, as far as the Ankies go, I'm trying to get the melee damage of this mother, which is 31, onto this father, uh, which actually has a mutation in melee, but I'm not trying to do a proper uh, melee stacking, or I'm sorry, mutation stacking with the Ankies. I'm just trying to get an Anki with halfway decent melee, and it, it just sucks. You know, it, it's really bad. Anything in the in the 30s really isn't isn't that great. Uh, so I continue to also look for a wild Anki with better melee stats, but I haven't come across one quite yet. I got uh, two base mothers to go along with the base father uh, because we did reset our Baryonyx line. Uh, so that's going well. And let's see what else we got going on here. Um, down below with uh, our Gigas, I have um, these four Gigas here are egg layers. Uh, so we got one male and three females. And then I have this uh, Oviraptor set up over here to, to just collect the eggs. And then, of course, what we're going to do with those is we're going to use them uh, as leveling eggs. And then over here, I've got a Giga that I hung on to because I really like the colors in case we decide to breed the colors at some point in the future, which I probably won't, but you never know. Um, and then we have um, a Health Mutation Giga and a Stamina and Melee Mutation Giga over here. I haven't really decided if I'm going to actually try and breed Gigas um, for the purpose of actually, you know, uh, leveling them and, and getting strong Gigas. I, I'm, and the reason for that is I don't know why I would. You know, you can't take them into the boss fights. You know, you can't take them into the tech cave or anything like that. So, yeah, I, there's not there's not really a, a big practical reason to do that. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm not ruling out the possibility of doing that, but at this point. I'm not I'm not gonna I, I'm just sitting on it. I've cleared out most of the dinos I had down here. I cold all of the UDs, the low level UDs, because you know now that we have our Uteranus breeding line up there, they've dropped plenty of eggs. Plus I have over five hundred Uteranus eggs, you guys, anyways. Um it's just ridiculous. I I'll, I'll never ever need even a fraction of that much kibble for the rest of this playthrough. Um so yeah, we're we're pretty much finished with you know trying to trying to generate eggs for kibble <laughs> it's just crazy um all right so i think that pretty much gets you all up to date on what's going on around here i still have um i still have my uh, a bunch of baryonyxes over at the swamp cave that are just you know waiting for me to go over and level them up um, I'm not, I haven't decided if I'm going to continue to run the ice cave or not, because the main reason I continue to run it is for those saddles, but we got the blueprints. Uh, you know, there's always the possibility that we could get a little bit better Uteranus saddle blueprint. Um, and the loot, you know, I mean, the loots can be good in there, but considering how hard it is to get through that cave versus how relatively easy it is to get to the swamp cave... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but I do have, you know, I still have the team over there and the pigs and stuff like that. So, uh, but I, my next focus now needs to be on the um, uh, the sea caves. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. 
Um, I'm going to get geared up here. And we're going to fly over to the eastern sea cave. And we're going to do some building uh, over there and start putting together our lighthouse and our, our cool little bungalow and stuff like that. So I will meet you guys over there in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are out here at the eastern sea base. And I just spent a little bit of time deforesting the hillside up there uh, to gather resources. Uh, most of the build, I think, that we're going to do is going to be wood. A little bit of stone, a little bit of thatch as well. And so, uh, let's see. The plan is that on this little spire here, uh, which is pretty narrow at the top, we're going to put a lighthouse. And then on the thicker one over there, we're going to put ourselves a little living quarters, like a little beach bungalow kind of idea, but up on top of the pillar. I uh, haven't decided for sure yet what's going to happen over on this little section. Um, I thought about maybe making it like a landing area uh, for flyers in particular place to store critters um doing that and not knocking down those two palm trees would be tricky but uh, certainly theoretically possible anyways and maybe even we could regrow them if they did knock down with some re-fertilizer i don't know we'd have to kind of wait and see uh but let's hold off on that for now we'll do uh let's work on this stuff first uh also I do have uh, a base father and a base mother, Basilo, and their first offspring was a health mutated uh, female here. And so, yeah, she's got two points in health, which is great. And I have her uh, fully imprinted too, because I'm probably going to take her out uh, with us uh, when we go to our sea cave. She'll be our female dino. But I, before we do that, we'll definitely mate her with the father uh, just in case. So we're doing pretty good on the Basilosaurs as soon as, in fact, as soon as we get a male and a female Basilosaur fully imprinted, uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the sea caves because uh, the sharks are pretty much ready to go. They're just sitting at the western sea cave right now just waiting. Uh, but I want to have a good strong pair of Basilosaurs, fully imprinted Basilosaurs, before we reattempt the western sea cave. Uh, I think we'll be fine this time around because our sharks are, um, they're, they have twice as much health or half as much health again as the first time so they have 15,000 health and they all have ascendant saddles that I made during the last mind wipe um, so they're way stronger plus we'll have two fully imprinted basilosaurs um, which we didn't have the first time around when we went in there so I'm not anticipating any major issues uh, the other thing we could do too if we needed to I don't think we will but we could bring the the baryonyxes in there too. I mean, a big squad of baryonyxes would wreck face in there because, you know, they have that stun ability in the water, which would make a huge difference. But I want to try it again first with the shark squad and the bassies uh, before we, we go to the baryonyx. All right. So let's see here. The plan then is to, like I said, we're going to, we're going to kind of just build stuff as we go along. Um, so let's grab some wood out of you. Uh, we got some thatch. Oh, we need fiber. Shoot, that's right. I was going to get some fiber. Um, well, we got a little bit of fiber in in here. Yeah, we got a decent amount of fiber. That, that should be enough to, to get us started anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's... What do we need to make thatch stuff? Thatch roof in particular. In fact, let's, uh, let's go here. Yeah, thatch ceilings, fiber wood. Yeah, it's the same stuff that you need for wood. You just need different quantities of it. Okay, so all of this is pretty much going to stay as it is. Uh, we walk up here. It'd be kind of nice to be able to put some kind of a safety rail along here, but uh, I don't know how we would do that because, because, because the ground's not level, and I don't think we can... Hmm. I mean, we could put a fence foundation... We could try some fence foundations and just, just see what it looks like. Um, but if I don't like the way that it looks, then... Okay, we already have that learned. Uh, then we'll, we won't go for it. But I'm just thinking if this was like a real-life situation, you know, that that's a huge safety, <laughs> safety thing right there. Um, you wouldn't want people falling off into the water there. So let's just see what we can do with that. And like I said, if I... If I don't like it, then 
and we will uh, try something different. So we could actually, you know what? First, let's do this. Let's make some quarter pieces. I've got a whole mess of these back at the base. I should have brought some with me. And we'll put um So let's put There we go. These there. Okay. And then if we take the fence foundation and put it something like that maybe see it's hmm, it, it's too far in is the problem it's functional but I don't like the way that it looks we need to try and push it out a little further if we can Let's get into orbital camera mode too. See, the problem is it it won't go any further than that. That almost looks. No, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, try this again. Oh, okay. So if we if we get out here more and then kind of look down, we can do this. All right. Now Hmm. Can we... What I was thinking is, can we do like a double... Yeah. Just like that. Uh, I want to get this other one. All right, here, let's try this. Let's bring this back up. It doesn't want to go down into the terrain because it's too low. Okay, what if we put another fence post here? Maybe turn it this way a little more. Okay, let's try that. And then... It almost works. I'm almost wondering, though, if we should... Well... Yeah, I, I can't deliberately walk off this. I'd have to jump to get off it. So also, can we do this? Just um No. Okay. I was I was gonna see if we could angle it down again too, but doesn't quite want to do it that way. Okay, we're all, we almost got this. I just got to figure out this piece here. I don't really like the way that looks. Yeah, no, that that's not that's not going to work. If we could get it to pivot off of this one 
come this way. That could work, but doesn't quite want to do that. Hmm. Well, the other thing I could do, I guess, is pivot the fence foundation out a little bit so it kind of joins more with that side because I'd rather have it I'd rather have this piece sticking out a little bit than the angled piece. We don't want the angled piece sticking out into the walkways. Okay, so let's let's try that. So we're going to we're going to angle this more that direction. Maybe even a little bit more like so. Okay, now, is there any way to pull this one in? Is this a foundation? Yeah, that's a foundation. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if there's a way I could use like a quarter block to make that work. All right, well, I'm gonna go with that for now. And I might, I might mess with it a little bit later. How does it look from over here? Yeah, that looks pretty cool from over here. I don't like, I don't like the way that that fence foundation thingy is sticking out down there though. But you know what? I wonder if we could pick that up now and have the rail still stay in place because it would stay attached to the other one. I don't think so, though, because I think that whole section is all based upon that foundation there. Hmm. Damn it. Nothing's ever easy. Okay, well. Let's just leave it for now, and I might, I might piddly fart around with it later. We got a lot more. There's more than I want to, want to accomplish, so we can't spend forever on this. But I, I, I just it feels right though to have some kind of a rail there, so I'm good with that. Um, I, you know, I thought about moving the stairs in, but then they clip to the to the landscape down there, and we lose this little palm tree as well. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're going to keep all of that the way that it is. This is going to be the start of the ramp that will ultimately lead up to the top of, of there. But I wanted to make <coughs> kind of like a little um, veranda kind of place here. So Let's go back to here and let's make some wood pillars. Let's start with four, but we'll probably need more than that. I want to leave the, the palm trees in place. I wish these, I wish we had a, a skinnier version of pillars. They're just so thick and clunky looking. In fact, you know what? I don't even, I hate the way these wood pillars look. They look terrible. We're going to go with stone pillars. 
going to demolish that. Well, okay, hold on. Yeah, the stone pillars just look so much nicer. Let's just get the materials back, or half of them anyway. Yeah, I just don't like the look of the wood pillars in this game. Uh, all right, so we should have a decent amount of stone in here. Yes, we do. Okay. Do I have any stone pillars? I don't think so. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, looks like we need to learn that as well. Okay. So let's make four of these. Been on the heavy side. We're gonna we're gonna put some standing torches up too, like you know, little tiki torch idea. I think that'll look cool. Okay, so we'll put that pillar there. We'll put one there. Um, I guess we'll put one there then too. Okay, we we'll need some more of these, obviously. Cut that out. Alt six. And we'll put one here. Okay, and then yeah, see, it's just it, it's a little weird because we're not dealing with a perfect rectangle here. So let's we're just gonna have to do the best we can. Um. And maybe what I'll even do is we won't we won't cover this part because the trees are out there anyway. This is all completely for aesthetics anyways. It's not. That's all we're doing it for. Which is a good enough reason. Uh, man, I wish I could get a pillar in this corner over here. But obviously we can't because of the terrain. Okay, well... Let's do this then. Um, let's go to here and we want to look at some roof pieces. Thatch roof, stairs, triangle pieces. That's all greenhouse stuff there. That's doors and a window. Let's learn that. I uh I think this is the one we want cuz we cuz we can I think we can turn that into uh, a triangle. Let's make one of those. So now, can we... Mm, that's all that does for us. Can we not make like a corner roof piece with thatch? Uh, we might... Oh man, if we can't do that, we might have to use wood. Like this. I don't think there's a thatch version of this, is there? Shit. Uh, 
I mean, I guess it'll look okay as wood. I, I just, you know, thatch is kind of island themed, I think, or at least I think it is. But I wanted this to be kind of like a pyramid roof. So, yeah. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's, let's put these down here and start making a few of these. I really wish we had, again, a wood beam and pole kind of idea. It wasn't that ugly pillar. Mm. Okay. Well, here. Yeah, that's what I want for the corners. So... What? No. No. This way. Uh, oop! I had it for a second there. Wait, what the hell? What's different here? Something's not right, obviously. That one appears to be correct. Here, let's do... Oh, I wonder if it would look good with wood corners and thatch. Nah, I don't think it would. Uh, I don't think it would. Okay, so... Uh, wood root. Oh, yeah, we, we know that. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't coming up in my search there. Let's put this down here and make a couple of those. I guess the base of the roof does kind of have like a little beam here. So that, I guess that could work as our beam. Oh, wait a second. That's not, that's not what I want to do. What if we just put you up? Yeah, see, that's what I want to do there. Hmm. Do I just need... Does this have... What does this have? It's got the roof, the ramp, the stairs, and the spiral stairs. That's all it has. What does this have? Triangle roof or wood corner roof? Corner roof. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I want is the corner roof, right? I haven't spent a ton of time building this game, um, as you can tell. <laughs> so, okay. So does that mean we need to put another one of these in first? I still don't think this is going to turn out the way that I'm anticipating. Um, let's let's do this.
Okay, so that's going to come down at an angle there. Hmm. Can I do the same thing over here? No, it's not going to let me because of the terrain. Can we put... Okay, so that's actually what I'm after right there but we need to pull it back one roof tile. It's exactly what I'm after. Okay. I just had to get, you know, look at it kind of like from a different perspective to figure out that that's what we needed to do. All right. So yeah, you go there and you go there. Beautiful. Okay. And we should be able to do the same thing over here now too. Flip that way. There we go. And flip that way. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what it looks like from out here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, if, 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 only there was a way we could get it to overhang a bit. We could do that if we used quarter pieces. Yeah. Okay. So... These guys. Let's make up about 20 of these. Okay, I made another one of these too because I want to put that rail down there. Now, what we're going to do is... Can I jump up on top of this? Uh, not really. Let's grab these and... Okay. Can I, wait a minute. Can I not get these to attach on top of a pillar? Really? Why not? Why the hell not? Hmm. Okay, will they attach on top of a doorway? Yes, they will. Okay. Now, can I take this off? Yes. Okay. Now, let's um, hop back up here. Uh, 
and we'll put our whoops our corner pieces oh man it, it it's it still wants to attach to the pillar okay maybe what we can do then is put the uh, put this piece in first. Except for I think we need to go over one more. That was not right. We need to go. I just had it. Uh, uh, yeah, like that. Okay, and they'll pick this one back up. There we go. You just got to finagle it to get it to work right. Um, oh, yeah, no, that's right. So this should be that piece there and, oh boy, now it's, now it's going to give us a hassle trying to get that piece in. God damn it. There's just no way you're going to let me do that, is there? I don't know why it doesn't. I have collision turned off. It should let me put it anywhere I damn well please. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's just leave that for the time being, I suppose. See what it looks like. Much nicer with it hanging over like that. Oh, you know what? Now I'm seeing, though. I should have... I should rotate those... Yeah, I should rotate those quarter blocks on this side so it looks clean on like it does on that side. All right, let me get that taken care of. So there's no way to get that corner piece in without the log sticking out on one side or the other. It looks really nice, though, otherwise. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess... Yeah, we don't really have much of an option there that I can think of. So it's going to have to stick out on one side or the other. That's all there is to it. So I suppose we'll have it stick out on that side. Yeah, that looks okay. Um... Another thing that's bugging me is that we have two different textures with the foundations and the walls coming down. And I don't know if there's anything we can do about that. So I guess we're not going to, we're, we're just going to leave it as it is. Unless the game would let me overlay that with some walls oh you know what it might actually let me do that let's let's just see what happens let's make a couple walls here it might let me do this hey you're grown up look at you okay let's get these guys doing the naughty Um, I want to save those for our actual combat bassies. 
What am I missing? Uh, just some fiber. Yeah, guys, building episodes take a long time, especially when you're making it up as you go, which is what I'm doing. So I don't do a whole lot of building in my Let's Play series. I do some, uh, but it's a nice little change of place. So I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Um, I might, I, I'm positive there's no way we're going to get all of this done. So we're, we're going to have to have a couple of building episodes before it's all said and done, but... Okay, let's see if it will let me. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. I mean, I can't do anything about that terrain protruding out of there, but that's pretty cool. You know what else I'm thinking might look good is if we... Uh, shoot. I was going to see if I could stick a pillar on the end of that, but it won't let me do it. Uh, but we can do it there, and I think it'll look... That looks pretty cool. Okay, well, that that's much better, though. I, I like that. Now, we could also... We could also do this. Just... Hey, what happened to the... Oh, did I not ever put a thingy there? Wait, what happened? I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, put that back. Just, you know, just to kind of outline it a little more. Give it a little more character. Uh, maybe even possibly along the bottom, too, actually. I'd much rather do that with wood, but we just don't have good-looking wood pillars to make that work well. What if we also... did that? So you're really not going to let me put one right there in the corner, huh, game? Let's try it one more time just for the hell of it. If I put one there, will it then let me put one on top of it? Uh. No. It won't. Okay. Well, we tried. Looks pretty cool overall, I think. All right, let's get your saddle on. I like the red color on this. I don't think I've ever seen a Basilosaur with a red color. It's very cool. If uh, We'll have to think of a red-themed name for a female. If it was a male, I'd name it Big Red. Um... Yeah, very cool. Okay. Let's get you guys doing the nate. And hopefully she'll pop out uh, a male with a health mutation. And, that, and that'll be perfect. Then we'll have our, our Bassy team. Okay. Well, let's see here. I want to make a little bit more progress on this before we wrap up this episode. But yeah, obviously we're going to have to have more than one episode to get this job done. It's There's just a lot to it. So you guys get the idea of, of what I'm going to do with the roof here. Um, so I'll finish that off camera. What I wanted to do next is I wanted to get started with the ramp that's going to wrap up and around and get up to the top of there. So let's work on that next. Uh, we're going to need... Okay, hold on a sec. What are we missing? Oh, the fiber, right? I put it all back in the thing. 
this, I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but I'm also going to enclose our little workshop area too at some point. Okay, let's make a few of these. And... I'm going to make that stairs. Maybe two stairs. Okay. They're done. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Here, let's pick this back up. Oh, shit. You get the hell out of here. Hate those things. What if we put a... Uh... Wood core. Oh, yeah, we already have those four. Make this a triangle piece. Get rid of the shotgun. No, that isn't going to work well. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to go with two, two stairs here. Okay, now we'll put the triangle piece in. Because the idea is we want it to, you know, to wrap. All right, let's just see what it looks like. Okay, that works. It does kind of get or is rather going to get into the terrain unless we... Oh, yeah, it's not even going to let me put that there anyway. Okay, yeah, so because of that, let's pick this back up. Oh, foundation support, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so pillars. We have two here. Let's go take a look at that from down this this way. Guess we can put put that there. Make a few more of these. I don't know if that's considered touching or not, but let's put another one in anyways because I think it'll it'll look a little better. Okay, so you know what I'm thinking too is let's pick. Oh shit! Um, put that back up. I think we should put a ceiling piece. Let's make a couple of those. We need we need to get out from the cliff face a little ways before we start to angle it up. Right? Think so. Let's 
get those off of there. How is that not a foundation support? Oh, you know why? Because this is connected to the stairs, not to the pillar. I understand. Okay. Now, yeah, put that. That's kind of what I wanted to do to start with anyways. Except for I didn't have the square ceiling piece up there at the time. That's more better. I need to keep my um I need to keep my angler fish over here because we have pearls spawning right in the pan and then I can just come out here and pick them every now and then. I think we'll do that. Plus right not too far away from here there's a little area down at the bottom of the sea where it has a ton of pearls. Okay, so now let's get back to this. See, the thing I'm not liking about this is it's, I think it's taking it further away from the cliff. I'd like it to kind of wrap more closer. So let me just play with it a little bit more because maybe I'm just missing something here. If we, okay, we started to do this. And then we we built the stairs off the end of this, but it got too close to the side. Um, okay, let's get the pillar down again. Can I reach that from here? I can. Look at that. What? Now, if we do this, that isn't going to help us, though, because it's the stairs are, are still going to go up at the same exact angle, only even closer to the cliff. Why are you letting me put the stairs there now when you weren't before? Oh, maybe it was because there wasn't a foundation support. Nah, I don't like that. It's clipping in too much. What's our solution? <coughs> well, here, actually. Okay, Pull, pick that back up. We have the same issue. We got to get the stairs out that way a little more. How do we do that? Do we do it by putting in uh no. 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 Why won't you turn rotate the other way? I don't know why the fuck it doesn't rotate the other way. See, now this will get it... This will get it out a little further. So now if we... Put the... Triangle piece in, except for guess what? We need pillar support. Oh my god. It's like I've done this a million times over, it seems. Can I reach that? No, we're going to need to do this. Okay, may this be the last time we have to put a fucking pillar down. For this specific spot, since it's what, the fourth time I've done it now? 
Jeez. All right, come back this way. Uh, grab those. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to have to put it on the outside there. That's good. Okay. Now, if we put this here, we should be able to build the steps up this way. And look at that. They're hugging the cliff nice and cleanly there. I love it. Okay. We just had to, like any anything else, you just have to finagle it a little bit. I will have obviously put rails up here too, but let's worry about that later. Okay, so now do we want to, can we go up another thing here? I was thinking about maybe doing something with this lower ledge too. But let's, are you going to let me do another one? No. Okay, we're going to need more foundations or pillars at this point. What's that? Oh, it's, it's that ichthyornis that I shot earlier. Right. Okay. So let's make a few more pillars. I know we wouldn't have to go down as far if we did them on the inside, but for some reason I think it makes sense to have them on the outside because the inside has support by attaching to the cliff wall or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's all just in my brain. I'm going to have to go get some more stone for the next set of pillars that we have to do. <coughs> okay, so this gets us up to here, but then we have some problems. Unless, like I said, we do something to get over to this area and we build, I can't see what I'm doing. We could build, you know, a, what the frick? What just happened? I don't know. Um... We could build something down here, like a little building. Maybe a utility building or something. Just to utilize that surface. But I think... I think we want to keep wrapping around, though, to get all the way to the top. Which means that that last stairwell that we put down... It's going to have to come up and we're going to have to point out that way with a with a triangular piece. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so can I put that piece in here and then pick this back up? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this should probably just be a walkway until we get past that protrusion there. 
before we start with more stairs. Um, and I'm out of some kind of material. I don't know. This is looking cool, though. I'm liking this. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. We've we've gone uh, way too long. I'll, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to edit this, but I'll figure it out. Uh, but we will definitely have some more building episodes where we work on this base in particular because it's kind of a cool build. It's, you know, out of the ordinary. And, and I'll, get, I'll get this roof here finished and get some more resources uh, farmed up. And then we'll, you know, when we have our next building episode, which may or may not be the next episode, we'll just have to see how things go. Uh, we'll pick it up from there and continue on. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.